Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome to week 12. So I have made it. I have finished my 12 week keto journey. So I opened this video with a sort of flashback video from 13 weeks ago that I did for my uh, school where I was hosting something. And I remember watching that video back 13 weeks ago. That was the catalyst for me starting my keto journey and my keto reset journey. I really was at a very low point at that time and I am hopeful that everyone watching this, myself included, can see a bit of a difference in my face at least. The last 12 weeks have been nonstop, consistent keto. I am going to give you guys the final weigh-in update. I actually did travel with my scale, so I have it with me. I did weigh in and so I will reveal that at the end of the video. So I want to keep this kind of brief. Uh, as you guys know, uh, I have been traveling the last week. I had this grand idea that I'd be able to post a, you know, quote every single day, but I just didn't have the time or the space to sit down and make a video to upload to YouTube. But I did uh, continue, you know, ripping up the, the quotes for each day and I did continue to stick to keto the whole time. I don't know how to feel. I feel very proud of myself for sticking to something for, for this long. I have um, become very interested in this idea of being fat adapted. I have been following a couple of YouTube, like famous YouTube people, uh, Thomas DeLauer, I think is how you say his name. I might link one of his videos down below if you're interested. I don't know who doesn't know who that is. If you're interested in keto, you probably know this guy. But he uh, essentially said that if you do keto long enough, your body can become fat adapted, which is different from being in ketosis. So because I put in this like the 12 weeks worth of being consistent with keto, I feel like I've laid a foundation to basically make this something that is a life transformation and not a diet. It doesn't mean that I'm never going to eat a carb again. It doesn't mean any of that, but I think I want to try to get to a point where my body processes the carbs differently. Because I will say that after 12 weeks of doing something like keto, all of my addictions to sugar, to certain foods have completely vanished. I am not tempted anymore by uh, potato chips, french fries, uh, even my friends, like they're eating in front of me and they say, oh, I'm sorry, like you can't eat that. I'm just thinking like, that's okay. I, I don't really feel like it. I don't want that. I thought about, okay, today is officially like I'm done with my 12 week keto reset so I can go crazy, but I haven't done that yet. And I don't know if I have the desire to do that. I think I am going to stick to doing mostly low carb keto. I am celebrating uh, a graduation this weekend. Uh, it's a makeup graduation because I graduated during the COVID year, as I think I said in one of my videos. So I am now officially uh, walking and doing the whole ceremony. And of course, there's a part of me that wants to celebrate with, you know, something that I haven't been able to eat for the last 12 weeks. Uh, and most likely that will be a something in potato form. I'm not quite sure what, but we are having a uh, awesome barbecue on Sunday and um, my the person that I'm my friend who lives here he uh, has that smoker so he's gonna smoke up some uh, baby back ribs and some pork butt I think and there's gonna be barbecue sauce so obviously that's not low carb but for the most part you know I'll, I'll probably eat what I want to eat and not really you know monitor it and then maybe on Monday I'll just like get back into the lifestyle again I feel really good. I feel like I have all this energy that I didn't have before. And like I said, my relationship with food is different. It's just different. It's it's weird. I'm I it, it almost feels like I'm not living to eat. Um I'm eating to live. I I don't feel like I'm getting a lot of joy out of food like I used to. It does mean that I have um I I've, I've been forced to come up with different coping mechanisms, you know, when you're cuz usually if you feel sad or happy, you're going to go ahead and eat something that's not so good for you so that you get like the dopamine uh hit. 
and I, 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 that doesn't, when I'm on keto, I don't get any dopamine hit from the food that I'm consuming. So it's like, well, where do I, where am I gonna get that from? I have to get dopamine somehow. So I am sort of working on like different coping mechanisms that are healthy, like healthy ways of coping with just like life. If you have any tips for that, please comment below. So here's a side-by-side -side look at uh, the first week, my first YouTube video and where I am right now. So I am gonna hopefully put it on the side of the screen somewhere, but I know that I'm gonna notice, cause I've already looked at it. I'm gonna notice like my facial structure looks better now. So like you see, I got some cheekbones now, right? Whereas before, I think when I, when I gain weight in my face, I sort of like lose the the cheekbones here. And I love, I, I don't know, I just love my cheekbones. I know it's a weird thing to say about yourself, but like, that's when I'm like, oh good, okay. Like I got some, you can see my smile again. What else do I wanna say? So my weigh-in results. So I started the journey at 190.6. Stepped on the scale this morning and I am 179.6. That's awesome guys, that is 11 pounds, almost exactly. I wasn't expecting that because my weight loss seemed to have stalled a little bit. Um, and I was like, well, okay, that's just like what it is. Like maybe it's like a body composition thing, but that is officially 11 pounds, 11 pounds in 12 weeks. Like slow and steady wins the race. I, I'm just so glad that I stuck to it. And that's why I'm tempted to just like, okay, what's the next thing? Like, what am I gonna do now? What, how am I gonna build off of that because the, the bigger like non-scale victory here <laughs> is that I have lost my pandemic weight. I've lost it all. I've lost all the weight that I gained during that pandemic the last two years. Remember my highest weight was 195 and now I am back in the 170s which is where I started when I started this channel like two years ago. So I am like I can't lose this momentum because now it's like the reset is done. It's time to start. And so I am excited to figure out what that means for me. I am going to keep going with my health journey. I am going to keep uh, bike riding, running. I, I just got to come up with another sort of like long-term goal thing. I think that was really helpful for me. So uh, yeah, but maybe have like a different goal that's not like do keto for 12 weeks. Instead, it might be run a 5K at the end of the summer. So things that sort of trick me into like weight loss and, and not, you know, like, oh, the number on the scale, but like doing healthy things and having healthy goals that can then help me become a healthier person. Okay, so you guys, thank you so much for following me on this journey. If you are on a journey yourself, please comment below. The YouTube community has been so supportive uh, for me. And so if you're thinking about creating your own content and uploading like a vlog, please do it. It's, it's really fun and it's really encouraging just to see everybody just on their journeys. Again, the highs and lows. The highs and lows are always good. Until next time.